What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the episode of I Know Chris on the show today, my friends. We got some Cheetos in the house. I love me some Cheetos, and I love me some flaming Hot Cheetos. Now, you may have seen a video way back where I did just flaming Hot Cheetos, and I said they were pretty spicy. Actually, I did a challenge where I put them in some milk. You can find that video and ate them with some milk. Not a good idea. And my Filipino girlfriend, I challenged her to it, and she told me I was basically a wimp. <laughs> she said they weren't spicy at all. Um, like I said, they weren't like burn your mouth completely on fire, but they were pretty spicy. Uh, everyone has a different spice level that they can handle and cannot handle. But today, we have these two new Cheetos flaming Hot flavors in the house. Now this one right here is the Sweet Carolina Reaper. If you've never seen a Carolina Reaper, I'll try to put it right here, Carolina, Carolina Reaper pepper. They're pretty darn hot right by themselves. So I'm hoping the sweetness is going to kind of mellow that out, let's hope. And over here, my friends, we got the ghost. Boo-hoo. Might be saying boo-hoo once you eat them. <laughs> But these are the Smoky Ghost Pepper Puffs. So I'm really looking forward to getting into those. And what we're basically going to do today is see which one I think tastes the best. I'm going to give you my best uh, opinion I can. Because you know I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody's flavor palette is a little different. Your heat uh, you can take is a little different for everybody. Some people can't take no heat at all. And I'm going to tell you if they're mildly or extremely hot or whatever they may be. But we're also going to say if they're good and worth purchasing. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you these bags. This right here. This little bag, $5.69. Looking at it right there, $5.69. And this bag right here, $5.69. So, Ted Chips and Cheetos here in the US, pretty much, I think, everywhere, it's just gone crazy. They lost their mind with the prices. And like I said, we're going to bust open these and see if they taste tasty, yucky, yucky. Let's quit the talking. Let's do the taste. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got me a drink back here just in case it gets hot. <laughs> we'll get some fire in here. Uh, let's start off with, I think we're going to start off with this sweet Carolina Reaper first and see how it. Uh, Goes down. I need some little cups back here holding up my stuff. Kind of hold up, hard to hold bags up. Uh, woo! I don't know. Oh, gosh, smells good. But well, I'm going to tell you, these things look angry. Look at that. Can y'all see that in there? Woo! They looking hot. They looking hot and angry. Really. They looking hot. <laughs> they don't look to be too nice. Let's take one of them out. Booyah. Yeah, my friend. This is looking like fire on the backside, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Eat a bunch of these. May not be good for you later. All right, let's give them a try. I smell some heat on them. My little Cheetos, that nice little crunch. Here's one. Come number two. Get that flavor going on there. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling a little heat. Number three, we're gonna go five. The sweetness is good. I love the sweet taste on that. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's a burn on the backside, my friends. Mmm, one more. I'm gonna tell you, I like them. <laughs> They're not extremely hot at all. Hey, Miss Kayak, you get a little bit of that uh, powder on your finger? <laughs> When you eat these, she's always asking that. Okay, breaking that in, we ate about five of them. I want to get a good taste for them. You had that Cheeto crunch, you had that Cheeto taste. There's a little bit of cheese taste to this, but there's a sweetness that's very pleasant. In this. I love the sweet taste in this. And uh, Carolina Reaper, now that the sweetness and the crunch is gone, it's got my tongue buzzing just a little bit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling a little heat. I'm feeling a little heat. I ain't sweating, but you know. Oh, wait. I might be sweating a little bit. <laughs> they got a little heat. Is it unbearable heat like a one chip challenge? No. Um, but they are hot. I would put, if you had to uh, have a heat scale from one to 10, from one, let's say from one to 10 heat scale, these right here are about 4.5. Um, I believe anybody could eat these unless you just extremely cannot tolerate no heat at all. Cause my tongue is tingling, a little burn, but it ain't like I gotta rush to grab this cup of tea back here or something to, you know, cool my mouth down. It's not that bad. And when you're eating it, it's very, it's very pleasant to taste. Cause you have that sweetness that they put in here with that uh, heat. It's very, it goes over very well. I really like it. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I'm gonna tell you, I like these. I would definitely buy these again. I just wish they were a little cheaper. I think this bag should be no more than four dollars. I mean, five sixty nine or six dollars for this. That's just a little stupid if you ask me <laughs> i'm sorry but cheetos 
You knock it out the part with this. These flaming Hot Sweet Carolina Reapers uh, are really good Cheetos. They look very angry. They are a little angry. Your tongue's gonna be in a little, a little uh, pain. Um, but I think if you have a drink of soda or something by, and you're just snacking on these a couple of times, you'll be all right. You're not gonna have to call a fire truck or nothing to put your mouth out. <laughs> you'll be like, dial 911, my mouth's on fire. These ain't that hot. Like I said, 4.5 to a 5 on the heat scale from 1 to 10. That's where I'm going to put it. It's a, it's a mildly medium heat. So, yeah, these are good. Let's move these to the side here. Just move the, the ghost ones over here. Smoky. Okay, up next, we're going to do these smoky ghost pepper puffs. Now, I don't know about y'all, but they, they went all out trying to make these look like they're extra hot. They even put a flame on the back right there. Mm-hmm. Looking a little hot. Hold on. Just got a message from my sister. That's what a little ding heard in my pocket. It says, have you tried freeze-dry Skittles? No, nope. I can say I haven't, sister, but we'll see if we can find them. All right, back to the review. <laughs> People just be giving me ideas, y'all. All right, guys, let's get back to this, this Cheeto review. We got these smoky ghosts up in the house, and we about to give them a try. Get them open. Oh, yeah, they, they did a pretty good job putting these in the bag. I give them thumbs up for that. I mean, they almost filled that bag up. Look at that. Pretty darn good deal. Still ain't worth six dollars, but there's a little look on the inside. Bring my light man over here a little bit. Fire up in. Y'all see that fire up in there? Ooh, a little hot looking. Let's take one of these things out and see if they. Ooh, and they shake them. They shake those just like the ghost pepper. Yep, that's the shape of a ghost pepper, my friends. Mm. Let's get this ghost pepper a try. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna stop at three. There's a there's a vinegar taste to this. And like a raw pepper is coming right through. Whew. A little bit of smokiness. Uh, odd. It's an odd, it's an odd taste. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Because I don't do that here. These have a very odd taste, and this right here is not gonna be for everybody. And now I'm starting to feel a little heat. Um yeah, you taste the rawness of the pepper in this, definitely. Vinegar taste, a little bit of a bitterness of a pepper with the heat. Smokiness, yeah, a little bit, but these are odd tasting. Um, <laughs> I can tell you, not many people are gonna like these. They're gonna eat these and they're gonna be like, wow, those taste very strange. Very crunchy, they're puffs. They're full of flavor. But there's a, there is almost a a raw pepper taste to this. I don't think people are gonna like. Unless you like hot peppers, bell peppers, or any kind of pepper. There's a taste that a pepper has when you eat it raw that tastes like it's on these. For real. Um, they went all out with going for the um, ghost flavor. Cause I can taste that ghost pepper in this. I've had ghost peppers before. Is it unbearable where I can't eat them? No. And I will eat these because I like spicy stuff, I like peppers. And that vinegar, there's a little bit of a vinegar kick in that, along with that bitterness. Yeah, if I had to pick between the two, if I was you in a local store and seen it, I would start off with these sweet ones first. Carolina Reapers, before you moved up to this. I wouldn't buy a big bag of this. If you can find this in a small bag, like in a grocery store or a gas station, I would go with that first. Yes, Miss Kayak. Stuff is on my fingers. Um, there's some heat now building. On a heat scale from one to 10 on these, uh, I'd say about the same. A, a 4.5 to a good five is where they're at. They're not six, seven, eight, nine. They're not extreme hot. There is some heat. There is some uh, tingling on my tongue. I'm not sweating to death. I'm not turning red. I'm not choking. Um, you can eat them. 
That's the good thing about them. Some chips are so hot you can't enjoy them. These you can enjoy them, but this right here, this right here gonna be for a special customer. Um, would not recommend the big bag at all if it's your first time eating a spicy hot chip uh, or trying a uh, pepper chip with peppers in it, because this may be a turnoff. Uh, this is a little, this is, I would call this more of a raw pepper taste than this. This is a laid back, uh, and that sweetness in it kind of uh, cuts it down really good. It makes it easier to eat the Carolina over there, but this ghost pepper, yeah, it's, it's for the, the special customer. <laughs> like this fool right here. So yeah, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I am. But I will say, with caution, this is not for everybody. Uh, if you don't like the taste for raw pepper, say I'll go out to a garden and pick a raw bell pepper or a raw hot pepper. I'll eat it. I like peppers. Because I'm crazy. But if you don't like that taste of a raw pepper, you probably won't like this. Because I, I, I taste that coming through on this. And that's not for everybody. So yeah, two thumbs up for me, but maybe not for you. Um, I think it's good products. I still think the price is ridiculously high. I don't think these are worth almost six dollars a bag uh, Four dollars maybe but six dollars. Nah, they're getting a little crazy with it um, So yeah guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this review as always. I'm honest with you I hope this helps you make a choice if you see these two in your grocery store Which one you might like to try definitely if you want if you like something that's got a little bit more not so uh, stream with a little sweet to help it out you want to go this way if you want to go raw peppers go this right here because you're going to get a taste of a raw uh, ghost pepper in this i taste it the smokiness not as much people i heard people say it was but i've had smoky chips before smoky barbecue it's not that much as smokiness in this it is definitely more ghost pepper with a vinegary raw pepper taste uh, that's what i taste in this so there you have it. Well, guys, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it or big to wide, I like to say. Leave your comment down below. My channel is still growing and it's only growing because each and every one of y'all come here and support my channel by watching it. I appreciate that very much. Until the next time, my friend, y'all know what you need to do. Stay safe and as always, keep tubing.